Hi, I'm Jill Bray, Executive Director of Tawny, and I'm here at the Tawny Center in Canton today with Leah Zilkowitz. Leah is a quilter and a member of the quilt group Fiberistas, and we're standing in front of a recently completed project the Fiberistas made. It's called Landscape, and each member of the group made one slice in this project. So today, Leah is going to talk to us about the slice she made for the project, which is this one right here. So Leah, first tell me, when the group decided on this project, how did you feel about the theme and what you were going to be making together? So everybody had lines that they had to put, and it was foreground, middle ground, and background. And to me, it was too general, and it meant that people could do so much with the landscape that it was potentially not going to look good together. So I'm incredibly pleasantly surprised by the way it does look, um, but originally I was very skeptical. But you did go ahead and decide to participate even though you were skeptical, so how did you approach designing and making your slice of this? Well, this is um, a bit of woodland that is just behind our house, and it's a bit of woodland that I've always wanted to put into some kind of form. Um, and one of the things that was very amusing to me was over the months, the weather was obviously changing, and what I had originally perceived as a winter scene um, <laughs> changed dramatically. Um, so um, I called the piece Early Spring Snow Melt, um, but I've been working on it up until, I would say, three weeks ago. And um, obviously there was more green around. Um, and when I, there was a few things that I wanted to change about it, it seemed natural to actually just put more green into it. Um, but I, I hope it still depicts the, the mist and the snow. So talk to me about the construction of this piece. How did you make it, talk about the materials, and how you executed the idea that you had for this? Um, when I started, I was looking at it, and I just sketched it with some very rough color sketches, and just to give myself an idea of what I wanted to do. So a lot of this is um, wool roving, and um, that's, what, that's what the green and the white is. Um, and then I have a lot of lace that people have given me, um, I know that years ago, a lot of our mothers saved tablecloths. I've dyed a lot of that lace. And I just used a lot of little pieces of lace to hopefully make it look like it's floral. And what I've been uh, doing other than this is working on a series um, of just a coastline picture. And what I've been doing in this series is trying to work through having different portions of the quilt using different surface textures, but somehow unifying the whole thing. And that was something I wanted to try on this, just using different surface textures for each section of the quilt. Um, so it was a challenge because there was something about the foreground that I'm actually still not satisfied with. Um, but the other thing that I've, I've just been trying to do in quilts is just that difference between real details and then being able to pull back and unifying the whole. And I'm not quite sure if I'm successful in unifying this, which is what frustrates me still. Well, to my eye, it looks beautiful and very unified. So thank you, Leah, for coming in today to talk to us about your slice. We're delighted to be showing this project here at the Tawny Center through October. And thank you all for joining us today. We're going to be interviewing other members of the Fiberistas in the coming weeks and sharing those videos with you so that you can learn more about all the slices in this project. Thank you.